Hi and welcome, and today we are in Elkhorn, Iowa, one of the oldest Danish towns in the United States. We are so excited to be here and check out all the Danish wonder that this little town has to offer, and we'd like to take you with us. So come along and let's go check out Elkhorn, Iowa. The next stop on our tour of Elkhorn, Iowa is the Museum of Danish America. this quote by Paula Lorraine where she talks about raising her children as Danish but also that they have awareness of what it is like to be Chilean because that is her culture and I quite like that as well because I'm raising my children Danish but it's nice that they also have an American awareness because they are also American. furniture here that I recognize from a lot of Genbrugs that I shop at in Denmark. Oh yeah, I'm a Genbrug shopper. inside the gift shop at the Museum of Danish America and it is so amazing what all they have in here. There's so many things that we use on a daily basis in Denmark or things that we use for Christmas and things like that. It's just amazing to find them here because you can't find these things in other parts of the US. So they really took the time to find a lot of the things that the Danes use and and bring them here. I think this is really kind of a, a neat find for people who have moved to the US from Denmark and want a little bit of home. Well, if you live in the Midwest, this is actually kind of in the middle of it all. We are about six hours or so from Chicago. We're right in the middle of the US. So if you are in Iowa or in the area, this is the place to go to find everything that you need and that you're missing from home if you're from Denmark living in the U.S.
the basement of the Museum of Danish America, you get a nice mixture of Danish history mixed in with Danish American immigrant history. So it's really interesting as Americans to read about how the Danes came into this country and what their journey was like. This museum will give you that idea, will give you a glimpse of what their story was all about. The museum is very well done. It has a lot of great artifacts. As you can see behind me, there are a lot of items that came over with some of the first Danes that settled in this area. A lot of different things, anything from toys to pipes to dishes and different things like that. There's so much information here. It's really interesting if you are a Dane who lives in the US or if you are a Dane who is visiting the US or maybe you're just interested in Danish culture. Elk Horn, Iowa is really a place that you don't want to overlook. As you're driving by, it looks like a small place on a map, but in reality there is actually so much here. I am blown away with all the Danish things that I'm finding here. And yes, you know, they could say, oh, well, we're originally a Danish town, but with the amount of items that actually are in their stores, their museums, these are real Danish things. And I'm very surprised to see some of the same things that I have in my own home here in the museum, as well as here in the gift shop. I've also heard that there's going to be a speaker from Denmark coming to talk to people about the Viking culture, which I think is also kind of neat, something different that they have to add here. And they're just doing a lot to educate the public or even visitors on what Danish life was like and what it was like for those coming to the U.S. long ago from Denmark. One thing that I'm really excited to see in the museum is actually some of the work by Thomas Dambo, one of my favorite Danes. And this is a hand from one of his tree giants. We're not very far away from the Morton Arboretum outside of Chicago, Illinois, where Thomas Dambo had built some tree giants in 2018 and spread them all throughout the Arboretum. You'll have to check out another one of my videos where we go and see the tree giants at the Morton Arboretum. Danish museum would be complete without a section on the Danapo. And there is even a little spot where it tells you the do's and don'ts of the Danish flag. Where was that when I moved to Denmark? I could have used that information. They also have a section on new Nordic cuisine, which is really right up my alley because I love everything that has to do with sustainability, that has to do with using things that are in season. It's so amazing that this small community in Iowa has gotten a hold of this idea and is showing it to the rest of the population here, the people who come to visit this museum. It is just really an interesting thing to see. Let's check out a little bit of their area that deals with the new Nordic cuisine.
Behind me you'll find the Danish table, and if you have been to Denmark, you're familiar with this shade of yellow. Let's go have a look inside. Does that taste like Famos Frigadella? Uh -huh. Does it? Do you like it? Uh -huh. Smaller bites. Ole pølsen er på vores bedre. Lever på steg. Blås gemmelost og havarti ost. Okay, and how does it taste? My god. I just love the kids' menus. They are actually inside a Danish children's book. So for my son, once he picked which item from the children's menu he wanted, he went ahead and started reading the book. It's a nice way for them to get themselves busy. Very difficult with these two not to touch it so I can get some video in, but we're trying the apple cake for the Abokea. <laughs> Somebody's very excited. All right, who wants to take the first bite? Me. Oh, so it's got the whipped cream with blues gum on top, and it's got some. Oh yeah, got a bunch of different layers: crumble cake layer, apple layer. So this is goodbye from Elkhorn, Iowa. 